UK used to use, to use Nigeria use it is easier to own a used iPhone in Nigeria and the reason is not far-fetched because it is cheaper compared to the actual price of the original iPhone released by Apple at the, but at the same time it is very risky because of course it is used right but yeah five things you need to know if you want to buy a used iPhone in Nigeria so you can avoid the what I order was and what I received so let's go Number one, you want to check for cracks and scratches. You know, because it's a used device, there are chances that there are some cracks, there's some scratches, there's some breaking on the screen or on the back and all of those things. This is not bad in itself, right? Because yeah, it's a used device, but of course you want to check and confirm that this is not there and it's not going to affect the overall usability of the device you're buying. Number two, you want to check the battery capacity but for your peace of mind so you are not holding a power bank everywhere you go because we don't have lights in Nigeria so you can check this by going to the settings then the battery then the battery out number three confirm part authenticity so because it is a used device there are chances that a part has been repaired in the device so you have the screen the camera the battery all of this will have been repaired so what you want to do is go to the settings then you want to go to about then general to check if a part has been repaired number four you want to check the mic and the speaker so one thing you want to do is call if you can put the same inside call someone put the phone on speaker or put the phone uh, in the handheld mode and also listen to see if it is clear enough for you to hear and if the person can hear you well i mean you don't want to buy a device that no one can hear you when you call right Number five, you want to check the overall performance and the spec. So every iPhone that is released has a list of specs that comes with it. So you want to check and confirm that the specs inside the phone is what it is listed on the Apple website or any other tech website you've seen the specs on. All right, you also want to check the performance of it. You want to check the buttons, the home button, the volume buttons, the mute, the mute switch. You want to check all of this to confirm that they all work fine. And once you check all of this and you confirm that they all work fine, yeah, you can go ahead and make the payments if you like the color and you like the face of the seller. All right. Well, also, lastly, just a bit of a perk, you want to maybe try to get a warranty from the person you're buying it from. So if something comes up in the first few days of you using the device, you can always return it back. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe, and share with your friends and family or someone who is about to buy a used iPhone and needs these tips. Thanks.